Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, movie Bitches. bitches. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars 7. Crazy. I yes. believe that's correct. Preview. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> First things first, shout out to our Patreon. Well, actually, first things first. Hello. Hi. Shout out to Lee Dawson. Thank you for having me. Yay. I'm supposed to be there in the room with you. I'm in LA, but we we were sensible. We did a test and DragCon is um, yes. a super spreader event. So that's fun. That worked out great. <laughs> yeah, womp, womp. Who could have predicted? predicted? Loads of people in a room together without masks. Who but at least you're feeling this? okay. No, I feel great. Yes. I've just lost my sense of uh, taste, so that's why I'm wearing. No. <laughs> I'm wearing. Like you ever had one. I know. No, I'm wearing my lemon. Oh, yeah. It's all the words from her verse. Oh, fun. Since this is all stars, we're just, you know, remembering our fallen angels. Oh, well, we picked I mean, our, our winners. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm, I'm going a different route. I'm going a different route. Didn't Lemon win? No, no I don't she know. Didn't, she didn't oh. win? She no? went home first. I know. No. I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, she We clearly she have not watched. Andrew, huh? she left. Are you yeah. talking about Ginny Lemon, right? No, not Ginny Lemon. Oh. Lemon from Canada. Did you really think she oh. went far or were you just joking? I was joking. Yeah. And also, I thought you were talking yeah. about Ginny Lemon. Although, so that's fun. This would be okay, nice great. merch for her. They should collab. They should do something together. Yeah, I love that. Like missed I love that Ginny Lemon's come out as just like not for like super against drag race. Oh yeah, when the girls rebel, it's always fun. <laughs> I'm Jasmine Masters and I have something to say. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why yeah. I turned into very it's really bad. almost more of RuPaul's my drag race Bianca Del Rio. Drag. Yeah, are you allowed to swear on YouTube anymore? I, you can't swear in like the certain, first minute, right? Yeah, the first minute and um, certain words that we like to say, we are now supposed to censor. You but know. fabulous Bunt Island can still is live gay. On. Okay. Can you say gay? I don't, I'm gay. not sure. I don't know. Gay! It's been hit or miss. That's wild. It's been hit or miss. That's terrible. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but second things second, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10, yes, gets you access to our viewing parties. Which are so good. Um. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love that. We will be doing them for All Star 7. However, they will not be always on time because it's summer and we had plans and they just dropped another season on us. So we're gonna do our best to two. be timely, but- There's two on the first, uh, on the first evening they're dropping two, it's a double premiere. Two episodes? Oh. They did oh, it for All Star okay, 6, great. yeah. It's, it's a oh. Paramount thing, I think. It will be sporadically. <laughs> it will be sporadically, yes, yes. And away. we also reserve the right to quit. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm reserving the right to have a parachute to get Get the fuck out of here if it, if uh, EV goes home first. I love that though. But well, there is no, okay, well, they didn't that's mention true. that. But yes, it does seem like the, the rumors are true that there will be no eliminated queens. And I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, third thing's third. Make sure to subscribe, share, oh, follow us and Lee on Instagram and Twitter and OnlyFans. Yeah. I don't know if you want me to. <laughs> Daily Motion? Are you still on Daily Motion? No, that's, Daily Motion's that's, long gone. Yeah. Terrible site. Patreon. Terrible, it really yes. is. Patreon is good. I keep trying. I should be I should be doing recaps for all winners. So if you want to join me on that experience, patreon.com yes. slash recaps will uh I'll do four of them, then give up. It'll be it'll be great. It'll be great. At least we're consistent. Yeah, we're consistently <laughs> parachuting out. It's great. You, you, <laughs> you, you guys finish your seasons, but um I go as far as I want to and then put the brakes on. <laughs> we should probably learn and just jump. I mean, we did jump ship on what was it? I don't know. We, we stayed we stayed clear through down under. I don't know how we did it, but I mean, we did it. Yeah. Um, We're here for the so. down under viewing party, right? We're gonna rewatch down under series yes. one. Yeah, of right course, now. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that, that's why I can. <laughs> that's why I can. I will say that in watching this clip of the previews and whatever, and they're showing all of these queens, I was like, wow. It's really just a, a blank space in my brain at this point. So much drag race and so long. Well, the ago. majority of the seasons have been so recent as well. If you yes, see how yes. many winners they've crowned in like a certain time period, it's they'll crown like five in five years and then 30 in five years. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. really sped up. We'll talk about the cast, but it was strange how some of them were so fresh in my mind that I was like, I love them, but I don't want to see them right now. And some, I was like, oh, it's been a minute. I'm excited. What yeah, are you yeah. going to bring to the table? Yeah. Should we get into the, basically the walk-in looks and, and them being slightly shady mm -hmm. to each other? A lot of flashbacks. Oh, do you really come in to blend in with the <laughs> Did you get like the warning ahead of time? You came dressed as the table? <laughs> You got the memo about the table. Great. Yeah. 
But first into the workroom is Miss yes. Jacoulet in this all orange body jumpsuit with this a mirror boning as well? detail. Did she have a mirror? She was looking into something. She, she had, I think she had a compact, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With this little bolero, like, shoulder pads only situation. It was yeah. cute. I love that we got the shoulder pad and jacket memo, yeah. <laughs> that oh, was that shade? I think that was shade, right? I think so. Because but, but also to herself. I'm glad I got the, uh, the shoulder pad blazer Jeez, fantasy. Okay. Shay looks great, always. Shay I mean, always looks great. when they showed that that pink outfit again, I was just like, oh my God. <gasps> it I did get me excited. All of her looks. It's interesting they picked her to go in first as well. I think sometimes there is some choice behind that. Right. She could obviously carry the room first and high, <gasps> high expectations for her, I think. I think so. I thought, it was, a little, so. I thought I... it was a little awkward her talking to herself. I mean, it always is. First one in the competition again. Ah, feels so poetic. First one. Oh. Center oh, stage. <laughs> Yes, I'll just pretend I'll put my like stuff it. right here on this table, right center stage. <laughs> Feels correct. I love this look. But then it was so funny when they were showing Jada, who came next, but they were like showing her orange look from her crowning. And she won, yeah. You know, the, yeah, the and I was like, this is kind of the same, but like maybe not even quite as good. I think Jada's yes. was better, right? I mean, especially the, with the, yeah, the, the Dilophosaurus crown. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, speaking of, next in is Miss Jada Essence Hall, who I'm super excited about. Love her. Yes. We get to see her complete a season live in person. Very exciting. <laughs> The details on this outfit when they showed it really close. Yeah. It was insane. These little yeah. diamonds and then there's a different colored rhinestone pattern in between yeah. every single, every, you know, section is perfectly stoned in this motorcycle jacket. She's got a jockstrap yeah. pant. It's wacky. A jockstrap pant. It's wacky. Well, she's America's <laughs> favorite looked- bottom. America, I'm your favorite bottom. No. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, that, that was so good. <laughs> she just laughed at herself. It also looked like the neckline. I think there might be a reveal or something. There was. It looked like something there was, was a bodysuit or something underneath. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some kind of. I didn't love the hoops, something. but everything else I was obsessed with. Especially, it kind of gave me like super elevated drag Elvis, wow. but like, or like a deck of cards with like deck the diamonds of cards, and hearts. Prince. I was getting Prince. Um, yes. Well, she did do on. Prince, didn't she? She did a Prince lip sync with Heidi. Yes, she did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking out. about Naomi's Prince look. Yes. Oh my God. Mm. I just found it really interesting how everyone had like a heavenly choir music behind some of the flashbacks. Like it, all of them started with like the, ah, and it was like just their defining moment. And then it would be like a normal all-star flashbacks thing. It's just like, it just gave a little heavenly choir music behind them. When Jinx came in, va 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 she was very... She got the Jinx music. I love that. Yeah. I definitely feel like the, se- the season is going to treat the girls a little bit differently and, like, definitely make more of an effort to uplift them at any part they can because yeah. it's definitely more about, like, celebrating them. It did surprise me. Yes. I guess we can talk about it going into Evie, but, like, Evie was the only one they gave a sort of, like, shady edit to, like, talking about her, her hair. This hair is giving me elevator vibes, bitch. You push one button, it's up, then it's down, then it's up, then it's down. I was kind of obsessed with her hair. Incredible. <laughs> this troll hair, but that kept, it's up and down, up and down. I loved it. it was, I mean, it was very It stupid, really so. flopped. Oh it God. just went, Yeah. <laughs> straight back up. Evie seemed the least polished, and I liked that the most, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Like, the least, like, I am putting on a performance. It was just like, right. I mean, Evie. Everything's f- there's not gonna be one single wig glued down. Like, it's gonna be a mess, and I hope you're ready. <laughs> she comes in in this yellow bathing suit cut out with like basically like a boxer's robe of purple yeah, okay. satiny with all the, like I think it was her face on the back or somebody's face on the back, all detailed. And then of course the troll hair. Was that... <laughs> she has a great entrance too. She doesn't just walk in, she sort of like meanders Pam. in. Like... Didn't she yeah. do like a big high kick? <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, yes, the, the laugh, I was like. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was like ADR'd in though. Like, I'm sure they have a ton of those Quite just on, on repeat. Like, I'm sure. Evie oh. underscore laugh underscore one dot MP3 right next to J. Joe Lee yep. laugh dot underscore one. <laughs> they just play that. And also Bosco's laugh is a good oh, one yeah. too. You just they... always, if you need to punch something up, that's Latrice's your laugh Latrice's laugh. <laughs> Yep. 
second. <laughs> I am obsessed with Evie, and I for I mean, I didn't forget, but like this reminded me just how obsessed I am. Mm -hmm. yes. Where there's just kindred. Yes. Yeah. It's a yes. <laughs> Fucking love her. It's just good en <laughs> good energy and interesting drag. It's pretty much just a... And we've just come off of, you know, Willow, loving Willow so much, you know, so yeah. I think I'm I'm just a fan of the House of Oddly. What can I say? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, it's just fans! Fans! It's just fans! <laughs> <laughs> Well, then she has this nip slip. I don't know. Is oh, it? yeah. I mean, it definitely was. She, like, lips licks her own nipple. It was impressive. She's in flexible. Dexterity. She's flexible. Yes, she is flexible. We did know that. <laughs> I was going to say, is that the first nipple we've seen in Drag Race? But clearly not. Like, I'm just remembering, like, Stacy now and the... Uh, oh, it just the all But it wasn't challenge. blurred, so, you know. <laughs> no, I don't think Stacey's well, it was a male. Either. It was a male-presenting nipple, Andrew. It was a male-presenting You're right. nipple. Speaking of breast Plastic plates, tits. Well, yes, of course. Speaking of plastic. Next out, Trinity the Tuck. I didn't like this. Oh, you didn't? didn't oh, no. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> I'm it was, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. But was it purple? It was disjointed. <laughs> it highlights the, top the half, yes. cleavage. You know, the top half looks like a looks like a wetsuit, and then the mm -hmm. bottom half was feathers, and there's that yellow harness. Um, right. And the, like, Ouija board the... on her, the Ouija board piece on her face. I, Yep. Mm. I liked the feather slit. Oh, you're a sucker for a feather slit. So <laughs> I, yeah. But I also, I, she came out and I felt like she looked like an expensive pheromone, which isn't like a bad thing necessarily, right. but I just was like, oh. Shade to pheromone. I thought she looked like Charlie Hyde's. <laughs> oh. Wow. I don't think it looked cheap at all. Like it looked no. Ex nope. expensive. Personally, I, I don't think I like this split. Like it felt like two separate. She should have had it all the way up, right? And be like, the body is here. And yeah. then she revealed, that would have been yeah, I mean, something. She has, she has that and then have like show, the yeah. tits spill out. Yeah, Yeah, of course. I will say in her confessional look though, she's rocking the movie bitches colors. So I mean, it was she's just our fan. logo. We should stop shit talking her. It was just our logo. I do wish that the hat had been half and half as well, though. Ooh, yeah. Because it was just red. That'd be great. She starts drinking wink wine. Oh my God, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Coming for our gig, as if she needed to. It was funny, I mean, not to shade her some more, because I really do love Trinity the Tuck. She and Monet obviously both had to talk about the split win. And I was like, oh, I wish they had done Monique Hart instead. And then I just realized she eventually didn't. that oh, she didn't win. Right. Oh, yeah. She, in in our my hearts, mind, she did. In our hearts and minds, she won. <laughs> If you if you see that season, she she deserves her flowers during that season. Like she really. Oh my god! They just decided they didn't like her. I did like Trinity and Monet both trying to dance around the obvious late in the game production choice for them to tie. The only double crowning ever, and we shared in this iconic moment in queer history. Oh my god! Trying to be like it was. Oh um, right. Uh, it yeah, was crazy, it was right? Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Part of queer culture, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's queer that history. Oh, yeah. They meant to do it. From that was the plan from the beginning. They really played up on it because next was uh, Monet coming straight after <laughs> right. Trinity. Right. It was like yeah, you remember these two both winning, and obviously they both both, <laughs> both talked about it. To be expected, Monet looked incredible. The money gun, the curse of the money gun again. I know, but she broke it. I think they worked. It seemed so she broke the curse. No, one no? of one was of there... one of them was broken. I, I think that. maybe we retire the money gun. You think? You think? But I did love this look on Monet. This like so, were they like um, polished and detailed? Yes, this mm -hmm. body was. Oh snatched really really elevated expensive looking streetwear you know with this gingham yes. thigh highs and the gingham corset yeah. shirt with the little cut off jeans and this cute pom-pom wig it was good it was great she's really turned a lot of the looks and like she it was great and i think going back to the conversation like she and trinity and Monique all deserve to be in the top three. Right. I just still think Monique should have won. But anyway, mm -hmm. I agree. Love Monet. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the uh, runaways will be. Yeah. I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot of we brought these looks that we spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars or had well, other. Well, there is a reason you're wearing in. your Bianca tank top right now. <laughs> <laughs> have fun in bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it to? Trinity. Oh, Trinity. Oh, was it? <laughs> Now, if they got Bianca back, that would be that. I mean, she wouldn't, but that would be. I think they ooh, asked. Yeah. I'd love they, it. They asked Bianca, but she was like on the phone saying, "I would do it, but we would have to do this and this and this, and it's like so far from the show. Like she wanted them to be in a house and everything." Oh, yeah. I'm not 
opposed to the idea of shaking things up and doing something different, mm -hmm. I feel like that could be a breath of fresh air. Although at least, like we said, they're changing the format, so that'll be interesting to see if everyone's staying around and competing in the Ben de la Creme abacus, abacus tally yeah. board. It certainly feels like everyone's staying around for the whole season, but I also wonder how that's going to work. Like, Because if there's eight of these and then by episode five we've got someone with no points, like, are they even going to bother competing right what's that going to be like so i'm curious about that like how that works maybe it I should mean, be like you know if you fall too far behind you leave i mean maybe <laughs> i can't imagine it not but ending at the same in the time lip -sync. it's got to end in the lip sync to like determine the winner for the week like i can't see that going i don't know how they're going to keep tension without sending anyone home or having any consequence we'll find out so quick commercial break and we will be back with a lot more all stars winner you're a winner baby what was it i don't know why i went into like what just happened <laughs> i don't even know what that was, was, Harvey I, was I, I was doing the, <laughs> the digital crown that jada puts on oh yeah the digital <laughs> i've got something to tell you okay did you get a tattoo it's oh no <laughs> It's, it's chocolate. chocolate. It's is chocolate. it chocolate? Is it actually you chocolate? Know it, no, it is. This is one I've eaten already. It's amazing, by the way. It tastes so good. Um, oh, really? Just, they never made a why does it got to be chocolate joke. There's a lot they could have done with it. I mean, it was plastic, yeah. but I'm I'm sad no queen took a bite out of their chocolate, even though it's, yeah, or something. <laughs> they would cut it, I guess. But like an irreverent queen would just be like, take a bite and then be like, ah, I broke a tooth. Like, I'm going to sue you, RuPaul. Or they would just be like, it's plastic. It's plastic. It's plastic. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it Sorry. is chocolate. What's that thing where they have to say it multiple times? I got it. Well, I got it. I got well, it. Well, I got it. Jane, I got it. Jane, we got to do that again. Well, I got it. Can't use that. It's, I'm a crazy. We can't guy. use that. <laughs> well, I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got it. <laughs> All right, you can't use that. Okay, that was a crazy person, and you cannot use it. <laughs> that would, if, if Bosco did that, well, I got it. Oh my God! Yeah. Now that would have been. Great. Oh. <laughs> yes. So next was Jinx Monsoon, who I was very excited to see. Love her. We loved the her, the Jinx and De La Christmas special. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. um, you see it live? No, we didn't see it live. We saw the, the digital copy during the pandemic and mm -hmm. then they put it on Hulu, okay. at least in the US. I don't know about worldwide. It's really fun and cute and silly, so I recommend it still. I did find it interesting how like the more recent queens had, obviously like all the queens are list listing their achievements. Like Monet has like her exchange rate show and like right. Raja has fashion Podcast. photo review. Yeah. Jinx was kind of like, I've been on comedy and music tours. The older girls were obviously like given way less scope of things to do outside. Yeah. Like when the show finished, there's nothing you could really do except tour and travel the world. Yeah, I mean, she still had a great career, but it is interesting to see how much more because of that extra publicity where it's like, I had three Vogue covers. Mm -hmm. Not that Jinx would get three Vogue covers. I don't think that's not her vibe. It's but not like, her vibe. I get it, but but yeah, it is interesting to see the new queens have so much more, and that's you know I think the draw of coming back on too is that well now you have such a bigger audience. Oh yeah, and absolutely. A bigger opportunity. Well, there's a bigger platform, and there's just more technology of different things to do with yes, it. Yes, it's true. Yeah. But yeah. she comes in in this oh. boudoir lingerie yeah. floral nightgown, you know, whole situation. She looked she looked cute, beautiful. Oh yeah, she looked nice, fun. Night. Night what now? Abel? What did I? Night what did what? I say? Night I think gown? you just said nightgown. Did I say nightgown? You didn't say it with a D. <laughs> ah, sequence. What? A sequence. <laughs> a negligee. I'm Jinx Monsoon, internationally tolerated drag queen superstar. Internationally tolerated, tolerated yeah, drag queen superstar. I'm really excited. She's yeah. a breath of fresh air. I like you know, all the other queens before her, but pretty much all of them are kind of fashion, fashion, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and they are also funny, but Jinx is a comedy queen. And so I was really excited yeah. for that. And they're all very recent. Be very excited. Before Jinx. Yeah. They've all been on very, yes, very recently in the past three years. It does seem weird that Shay has already won All Stars and, that, and now she is back to win All Stars. It's but so did strange. Monet and Trinity. Yeah, you can say that's the same true. about Monet and yeah, Trinity. Yeah, that's strange. Three of the eight, have won all stars in the past two three years <laughs> seems weird yeah. whatever yeah. so the next in was raja which was very exciting because i mean this was the oldest i mean probably literally and also seasonally 
oldest queen, mm. Auntie Raja, as she says. Did somebody call wait, for an icon? For an I icon? She's really been. Ah. She's loving the the iconography. Right, because her her walk in look on her season was that dumb eye hat, eye. right? Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> yeah, hat. Yeah, it was great. And then this headpiece, this like tennis racket cheeked headpiece, feather crown, it's like turkey feather. Yeah, <laughs> I was I'm a into it. <laughs> Eat it was... me! Eat, Eat me. me! Yeah, it was fashion <laughs> turkey. Actually, it was with this like yeah. rose, you know, f golden flower. Crimped placemats, asymmetrical. That's it. it. Reminded me of that Rue look that she yeah. wore this last season of like all of the placemats. Mm -hmm. All this volume and it was very good. This was I, a boot I, for me to be think? honest, but really, it didn't work. Um, oh, it was kind of it. heavy and clunky, and mm -hmm. it was certainly different and exciting. And I get that, but overall, I would say it's a boot. I can see how it would be. <laughs> April so shocked. I can see how I you... didn't think it was the best, but uh -huh. I didn't dislike it. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I live for the look, and obviously the uh, I think the icon thing, like her carrying that, and like well, yes, the the headpiece it... really I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. But it's wild though. You can't say that you remember everyone's original entrance looks. Raja that's really true. Had the original, absolutely. I, I couldn't. And that was... of, I would say probably. The most and first ago? iconic walk-in look? Yeah, I'd say so. When they started, you know, not just walking in, in yeah. jeans. Season three right, entrances exactly. are so funny because <laughs> season three is just everyone walking going, Hi, how is everyone? <laughs> I brought cookies. Hi. Oh my God. I brought cookies. Rue loves Raja a lot. I can't see yeah. Raja doing poorly. <laughs> like... I, I see a lot not of really. bias and favoritism towards Raja and not necessarily like saying she won't deliver, but I see her being favored by the judging panel a lot because she's like Rue's darling. I think the judging is going to drive me absolutely crazy this season <laughs> because I think it's just going to be a lot of the finale judging where it's like, you're just such an icon. And you know when you go to the grocery store and you're like, I want to eat <laughs> all of this. Peach. Well, I want to eat all of you. You're just so great. <sighs> you're all oh. the shortest board of drag. We can't make yeah, a decision. You know, it's just gonna be we like love all of you. Exactly. Everyone's great. And it's like, yeah. okay, sure. But like, this is a fucking competition. I'm, I don't know. I'm still, hope we'll see. I'm still we'll hoping see. we get critiques and like, I'm sure we will. I'm but. sure. Based on Raja's yeah. season performance, I'm ready for her to tell it like it is, let's say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> her and Especially... Evie. I feel like her and Evie are either going to hate each other or be like, ha ha ha, let's be the, the, Yeah, the shady queens. <laughs> I'm not here to f around. I'm here to win the goddamn prize. Look, you guys, I even wore nails. I, I even wore nails. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Oh, right. But I was going to say, too, I think Raja will have a hard time not being shady and, and critical because she's also so used to doing fashion photo review. Exactly. Where it's constantly just being like, no, it's a boot. Nah, I don't know. It's a boot. <laughs> I did like the, the flashback they used for fashion photo review. I don't like it. Boot. I like it, I guess. I'm going to give this a two. Oh, no, I like nice. it. Two. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Oh, like, I think it's okay. That's the Ray we'll play a nice clip. <laughs> <laughs> to me, for Raja, either she's going to come back and then be disappointment, or she's going to come back and like be ready to like win and slay because we know that she could. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, it seems like the the latter. Like she's ready to do it because otherwise, if you go in and have hearted, it could end badly. Yeah. Latrice. I do wonder how much yeah. feels at stake to the queens. I mean the prize is more it's definitely they're yeah. doing their best to make it feel more high stakes well i think it'll be interesting to see too like because no one goes home that's a nice incentive for them where you know that all of your looks that you spend all this time and money on are going to get shown that's true that's true and then also if someone's just bendel a creming it's not going to be fun mm -hmm. right where it's just like oh shay has four wins out of you know the, like the past six episodes then it's like no one has a chance to catch up even. Well, does anybody win? But if it's win? like one win here, one win there. Maybe you get a point if you have the best runway. Maybe you get a point if you win the lip sync. Maybe you get a point sure. if you win the mini challenge. I don't know how they're going to mm -hmm. do it. I think they'll just probably stick to the same episode. But a point for the mini challenge or whatever would be cool. Oh, yeah. And like right? two points for a maxi challenge win. Yeah, you could split it up. 
make it more, then you really get like a nuance. That's right? so, average. That's yeah. so funny because the mini challenges are always so like, guess the letter or like who has the biggest bulge. It's like so unlinked to drag talent. But yeah, it, it would add to stake still. It would still make it a bit more of a uh, higher yeah. stake segment. Best, you yeah. get a point for best workroom look. You know, you get a point for, <laughs> I'm here for it. Like make it right. fun. I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or also like who knows what the scale of the point system would be where like you could have it be your runway each episode gets judged on a scale of one to 10 and yeah. you get that number of points and then those add up, you know, but cool. also maybe if you win the mini challenge, you get five extra points or something, you know, Do it would be, be sure? ama like amazing that. if they had like a, like in Eurovision when countries call in on Skype, if you just had like past Queens call in, oh, you never saw Eurovision. No. no. They call in. I mean, I know what it is. They're but... like, here's, yeah. our, here's our points for the countries. Our 12 points go to, that would just be really funny if like they got, Queens from the wow basement, green screened in. Like, yeah. our points for this week go to that. Would that would be kind of cute. <laughs> I would love that. A pork chop, or you know, just yeah. some ways yeah. to get queens from past seasons in. Like Spain is doing it next week. Yeah. Alexis Mateo was is on there. Theresa May was oh, just fab. on there. It's definitely down yeah. to like a Rue not wanting other queens on the panel thing, but I think they're missing yes. out on yeah. such a trick by like, I guess they are inviting queens to other segments, but like on the panel, that would be so cool. It'd be so good. Well, Lee should really introduce yes. the last one in. My uh, half sister, I suppose, if they're coming from uh, the UK, the Vivian or Viv, because the Vivian's quite a mouthful or so I've been told. <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> she looks great. I'm excited. This I'm excited. Like yes. Mugatu horned wig. It was really good. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I kept being You're like, welcome. what does this remind me of? The whole look. I was also, like, this reminds me um, of something. Anubis had mm. the same. A little, yes, a little Anubis, of... but it was really Mugatu. Yeah. Because the Mugatu had that outfit ish, too. It was, it was like a drag, drag Mugatu. Mugatu. Well, Mugatu's already in drag, but you know, drag female ear. energy draggier <laughs> Mugatu. Yes. Yeah. And her face yeah. was beat. Yeah. The fact that it was like, and I will be wearing just sleeves with this, you know, strapless corset. I was like, yes, here for this. Oh no, yeah, yeah. She, she tore it up. And she was confident and like, uh, obviously she, she recognizes she's got a bit of stakes being the only UK queen there as well. Who's under the hat? Well, I mean, it, it seemed like it was Valentina, but she did not win. I feel no. like, so, well, num number one, I feel like it's not going to be an actual Sia? gag. Like, a contestant. <laughs> is it Sia? Sia. I feel like it won't actually be like a, a gag. Like, it'll just be some sort of like gaga thing where it's like they're there for a segment. Right. I thought it was uh, yeah. Raven. Well, she did seem black. So that would track based on the way that Raven paints her face. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, Joan Collins and she got a body transplant. Here for it. Here Love for it. it. I mean, if, <laughs> if we're going there, it could yes. really be anyone. <laughs> yes. This like yeah. crop topped, uh, glittering black and white striped with like a plaid black and white corset and this huge fucking hat. This It was like the stepmom in Parent Trap with <laughs> big black and yes. white Yes, oh my God, it was very that, yes. For me, I immediately thought it was Valentina and, you know, I'd like to keep it on, please. I don't know. But I mean, she did not win, so I don't know how they would justify that. No. Imagine a no winner. I mean, it could have been winners. Bianca Del Rio, but we we all kind of know that she's not guess, doing it. It won't be. It's not Bianca. That's not Bianca. No, no, no. She's not wearing another... a floor-length dress with Wait. one sleeve, Andrew. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we talking about? <gasps> could it be, could it be Violet Trotsky? Not snatched enough? Oh, yeah, not snatched enough. Yeah. Watch it be RuPaul. I, I mean, I thought it could be RuPaul, but then it was no. Imagine. It was too young. I'm going to try um, this year. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't tall enough. Yeah. No, certainly not. That would be and it. It'll wasn't, be interesting um, to see. It wasn't Cameron Diaz, like who's no. the no. guest, so. Is she judging this week? I thought it was Naomi Oh, is Campbell. Cameron Diaz the, the guest? They said this week, Cameron Diaz. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I missed that. I didn't pay attention yes. to that. Naomi Campbell thing, it very much feels like producers are like already gunning for like Shay. That's Shay's idol. Like Naomi Campbell has no notes for Shay's walk. Like it's very much like a. Oh, was she? Did they do a preview where she was a guest? There's there's a clip where she she comes out and then they do walks for Naomi. Very. Oh. Uh, it's not included in the preview, so. Maybe they're gonna like clip, pick like, someone for each queen to have an episode where they connect who's, with ooh, like person, special with. You know yeah. I mean? um, That's happened before with producers, definitely. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So make sure to sign up for the viewing parties on Patreon and- And sign up we'll for these see. Rue Caps. 
for the, yes. the two that I do. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever <laughs> exactly. they can get. Whatever works. One to start, one to end. Who mm. knows? But who is under the hat? Who could it be? <laughs> could it be me? <laughs> is that Sia? <laughs> or could it be? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Who knows? You'll have to tune in to find out. It could be one of us three. It's Spoiler alert, it's Andrew. No. Or it could be Sia. <laughs> it's me. Or it could no. just be Sia. No. I don't think it's going to be a queen. No? You think it's just going like, to be like a famous actress, Sarge? singer, person? It's gonna be Sarge. I think so. I think it's going to be a famous person. Like Sarge! When Lady Gaga was gonna be oh my Sarge. God, it's Sarge. Oh, hello, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because they already did the promo look. You know, so what are they going to do? Be like, ooh, ah, there was another person no, here? No, it's not going to be know? another yeah. cast member. No, it'll be some I think it's going to be a celebrita. Mm -hmm. You think? I'm a still betting Raven. It's going to be Cara Delevingne. I thought you were going to say oh. Carson Kresley. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be <laughs> Cara Delevingne popping out. It's going to be Ross. <laughs> From under the hat. Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to these all-stars queens. Cheers to Lee. Thank you for joining us. Yes. And cheers to whoever's under the, the big old hat. We'll find out. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Excuse me, my fashion-impaired friends. I am here to tell you that hats are back. And this time they've ganged up and formed one giant super hat. Natalie Portman. <laughs> Natalie Portman? Uh, Natalie Portman, that's who it is. Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> then they really are have like lowballing this to Shay. Like it's just yours. Right? She um, comes out of the hat and I it think just shays like I think Natalie I'm, Portman. I think I'm pre-editing the Rue Cup in my head already. <laughs> this <laughs> is exciting stuff. This is exciting. <laughs> It's oh, a Say Something Hat Day. Yes. Yes. Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm.